progress. <laughs> And I should point out, those who've just joined us mid-sentence, is that every time we now record these things over Zoom, there's a voice that tells us that we're recording. It's all to make sure you're not recording in secret, isn't it, Mike? I, I think it is. And someone's getting paid for that. You know, I could do that. Even that American female voice. Recording in progress. <laughs> recording in progress. Vehicle reversing. I could do that. I can make it sit here all day. Reversing. You're right. I, and there are people, it's rather like the speaking clock, which nobody will remember now. But you remember, what was it? What Was it one, two, three you had to dial? Or Tim? Uh, speaking clock, was it um, something, so 216 or 21? Oh, I forget. Well, anyway, yeah, I yeah. It was on, on whatever the key was. 160. <coughs> But well, I think it's like so. Tim. You, you, yeah. you tapped in Tim or something. But anyway, the speaking clock, and somebody had to record. I think I met the lady once who did it. Oh, right. It, her, she must have been interesting. <laughs> right. She keep asking over dinner what the time was. <laughs> I should be so it will be 11, <laughs> 11 and 20 seconds. Uh, well, it will be 11. <laughs> what? It's that wonderful word at the end, though, which they do so well, which I bet you all can do. Which one's that? Precisely. Go on, give us a precise. Oh, one. yes. Oh, yes. It will be 11 20 precisely. You see that? that? It was just so glorious. I love I used to just phone it up just to listen. It was one, but I think it was quite expensive as well, though, wasn't it? I think it probably was, yeah. But the one I do to people, they've often put the phone down. I said, um, what is it? It said, um, please hold. The number you are calling knows you are waiting. Please hold. The number you are calling knows you are waiting. Please hold. The number you are calling knows you are waiting. If you get the tune right, it sounds right. Oh, I, I often do that when people phone up. If they've been trying to get hold of you for a long time, I think you and I are the same like this. I will often pretend to be my answer machine. And then I just see how long they, they do that. I say, I let you leave a message unless it's Mike Reed, in which case you can speak to me now or something. And you're being thrown yeah, yeah. completely. But this new Zoom announcement, which is what we were talking about, it's just to tell people they're being recorded, which indeed we are. So tell us about celebrations and things like that, because people are going back to the traditional way. And the greeting card industry is massive isn't it yeah i first had a jackie lawson card a few years ago it was uh chudley the guy there click on the dog click on the star on the christmas tree and they had about three or four of them now it's a massive business and uh of course i get uh every day i was saying on the radio so i've had two more emails from jackie lawson you know obviously it's telling you about new cars which is great i, I subscribe so i think it's really good fun and uh, i said you know, some days I get three, I think she's stalking me. So I wrote this poem, Jackie Lawson's Stalking Me. I love it, Jackie Lawson's Stalking Me. Tell us all about it, Radio Lawrence. Okay, yeah. And uh, the latest one was about, uh, they had a teddy bear's picnic and things like that and the stuff going on in the kitchen. And I thought, okay, that stalking me. Another email came today. She said before bed, this is what I read, there'd be wonderful games to play. She wrote about mummies. She wrote about daddies and picnics in the wood. That Jackie Lawson's stalking me. She's cruising my neighborhood. That Jackie Lawson's stalking me. She emails all the time. She emails me twice at Christmas and the same on Valentine's, luring me with country gardens, offering tea for two. That Jackie Lawson's stalking me and I don't know what to do. That Jackie Lawson's stalking me. She's one determined lady. Now comes a card I swallowed hard. It mentions a new baby. She wants me to spend my cash on a bright and toy-filled nursery. That Jackie Lawson stalked me for years. It's our fifth anniversary. That Jackie Lawson stalking me. Her emails talked of wedding. I'm disconcerted that Jackie's flirted. I can see where this is heading. She's trying to get me cooking. Her chef's hands clearly twitching. That Jackie Lawson stalking me. She wants me in her kitchen. That Jackie Lawson stalking me. She wants me to go all tropical, then sympathetic, then balletic, and sometimes philosophical. She penetrates my inner sanctum and whispers in my ear, you'll never stop me stalking you, so sign up for another year. I love it, but people do, but they, they invent days. I mean, you're very good, and my, my, a lot of the inspiration for your poem is about particular days, and a lot of those days are created by the greetings card industry, aren't they? Uh, yes, some of them are. Yes, yeah, sometimes I look at they sometimes I have different ideas. I try to make them varied. I mean, the thing about uh, the poems I write every day, uh, someone said that they're all so different. You know, some are vitriolic, some are heavyweight, some are actually saying something, some are fun, some are lightweight, some are, uh, you know, observational. So, yeah, they're very different.
That's an absolutely amazing. A seven billion dollar industry just in the US alone. It is a huge, huge industry. And I'm missing of- out. I'm missing out on the seven billion. I'm doing it every day for nothing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> exactly. You should get into greetings cards. I told you we do all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. The audio version. There we are. That would be great because you can do all these voices and things like that. They yeah. used to be, I don't know, they used to do these little audio clips where you used to basically, you'd have whatever star it was, and then they would say, well, and a very happy birthday to Mike Reed, and he would work on that sort of basically cover their mouth at the appropriate moment, and you could insert name there. You would oh, be brilliant it. to that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. In my spare time, it mean, it mean a 30-hour day for me, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I know, it's always a joy. Uh, Mike Reed, thank you for joining us. Pleasure.